for most investments, the, the factors that will drive long-term success don't have much, much to do with spreadsheets. They have to do with other kind of either understanding human nature or understanding nuances about certain aspects of how things work rather than running spreadsheets. So I think you're better off kind of running it from the vantage point of, um, of running spreadsheets. And the second is regarding the cash versus opportunities. You know, one of the, one of the simple uh, approaches I use is that we really don't want to buy anything until it's at least half off, 50% off. So, so if I were, let's say, 100% cash, uh, and I'm just starting a fund, then that's what I would do. I would look for opportunities where there's a significant mispricing. And, uh, and of course, one of the reasons I gave the talk I gave today is, is sometimes the 50 cent dollar bills are not obvious. Like for example, C's candy was actually a 25 cent dollar bill or less, but it wasn't obvious. And Coke in the late 80s also was a great bet, but it wasn't obvious. Um, and so, so the area I'd like to get better at is the non-obvious 50 cent dollars lying all around us. So that's what I, uh, that's, and, and the thing is that, so there's two ways you can invest, right? So one is, uh, what I've done historically is look for a 50 cent dollar, let it get to 90 cents, and then sell it. Uh, you know, buy at 50, sell at 90, and hopefully in the period when I own it, the value grows, so it's not exactly 50 to 90, the dollar becomes maybe a dollar 20 or a dollar 50, and so I can buy at 50 cents and sell at a dollar 35. So that sort of thing. But I think that um, what is probably an even better model than that is, uh, is buying and holding on to these long runway positions. Uh, so um, when we met Warren Buffett for lunch in 2008, uh, one of my daughters asked him which of the Berkshire companies, you know, they own 70 companies, was his favorite company. And uh, he didn't even hesitate for two seconds. He said it's Geico. And, uh, and the reason I think he said it's Geico is because it's got the ultimate long runway. You know, Coke has a long runway. Uh, I think Geico's runway, uh, possibly maybe even longer than Coke, I mean, unless we get to a world of self-driven cars uh, across the board, uh, at that point the model's gone. But, uh, but, uh, but we, are, we are, you know, at least a decade or more away from there. So, so he felt that, uh, uh, that Geico's, uh, Geico's model had, uh, I mean, he, he was most excited about owning Geico because they used to have 2% market share, now they're approaching 10%. And he said that, Warren said that on his, 100th birthday, uh, they will pass State Farm. You know, so he's already planned out the next 14 years you know, of them going past State Farm. So, so I would say that uh, uh, look, look, look for the 50 cent dollar bills. Sometimes you find something cheap that's pretty good, but I think getting something that is more, got more of a runway built in and getting those cheap. And sometimes, you know, the funny thing about the investing business is that sometimes you can buy something at 20 times earnings and it can be really cheap depending on the nature of the moat and the runway, so.